What's up y'all, my name is Barbara Atway. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make your own DIY textured plaster lime wash canvas art. Um, it's very super, it's super easy and very affordable. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's begin. All right, so to begin, um, I have these two canvas arts, what are they called? Canvas frames, I'm not sure, but I got them from Marshalls. Um, they were $12.99 each, I think, I'm not sure. I will have my um, Marshalls and HomeSense haul linked up above in the cards and then down below in the description box so y'all can see what I got. Um, but um, I wanted to make something different because I haven't seen, like y'all know that lime wash is like a trend right now, but I haven't seen anyone try it on like canvas art. So I decided why not try it out for myself and see how I like it. So right now I am just taping up my canvas boards, making sure that I, I want a frame on the outside. I didn't want the entire canvas to be like lime wash and textured. So, you know, like there's like a little bit of dimension or whatever. So I'm typing everything up, making sure that there's the lines are straight across the edge and making sure that um, there's no like ripples in the tape. Okay, so now that both of my frames are um, taped up or like with painter's tape, I am taking um, my pink to white spackle and then also the 15 minute drywall plaster and then like the applicator and then we are just going to apply the pink to white spackle all over making sure that um, no, with no rhyme or reason I don't want anything to be like patterny or like intentional you know what I mean so I want I want it to look kind of messy in a sense I don't know how to explain it but y'all know with textured art and everything you just plop it all over the place making sure that you spread it and make and I wanted to make sure that I was dragging the spackle all along towards the tape so that like how do I explain it but like when I would peel the tape off it would look sickening I don't know if that's a proper description of words but y'all know y'all just watch what I'm doing you know I'm just dragging it along making sure I'm not pressing too hard because I was scared that the um the applicator I don't know what it's called a putty knife is that what they call it a drywall knife drywall applicator I don't know but I was trying to uh, not I wanted to make sure that I didn't like pierce the canvas because like I'd be sick if I actually did that I would be heartbroken okay so yeah I'm just applying it all over the um canvas boards making sure that I'm going on either side so I don't mess up and not and put like too much on one canvas and not enough on the other and yeah I'm just, that's basically all I'm doing right now So I'm just spreading it out, making sure I'm dragging it over the taped edges so that, um, as mentioned before, it looks, I don't know how to describe it, but y'all know, adds a little bit of je ne sais quoi or whatever, okay? So now um, I am taking the plaster. This gives it, um, it fills in the gaps of where I didn't have enough spackle. 
so you can use spackle by itself or you can use the plaster um and i have like a little bit of water in a in a what is the thing in a foam plate and i'm dipping my finger in the water just to spread the plaster and not i want to make sure that i didn't add too much water on the uh on my finger so that the plaster isn't too smooth because i did want a little bit of like roughness to the touch when i apply it when i tried spreading it on the canvas board And look at me being a professional and having some sense and using some gloves because y'all know any of my DIY or even if my in my hair tutorials, I do not like wearing gloves. But it was it was like after my birthday and I got my nails done and I want to make sure I got my money's worth because listen, if I'm paying to do something, I need my my stuff to last okay so i didn't want my nails to get ruined whatsoever they're actually really cute i'm really happy with how they turned out and everything i posted them on my instagram and i might include them in a vlog somewhere along the lines i don't know we'll see but yeah i'm just making sure that i'm just like i'm squeezing the entire tube all over the canvas board making sure that i'm getting into the gaps where the um spackle isn't touching just to show that because like the the plaster it adds like a soft bit of texture while the spackle gives like definitive texture if that makes sense yeah so i'm just spreading it out making sure that we're getting it all over Okay, so it's later in the day, you know, and now the the plaster's all dry and the spackle's all dry because you know it's everything is white, you know what I mean? So um I found this um company, it's Canadian, Homesmith. Um I'm showing y'all all the shades that I have. I think I got almond latte, toasted coconut, and uh, why am I losing my train of thought? It's something else. I'm not sure. I will include it. I will put all the shade names on the screen as I'm showing it to you on the screen as well. But um, it's like a milk paint and it's similar to lime wash. Cause listen, I tried finding lime wash and that shit is very expensive. It's very expensive. Now you could just get the lime powder from your local hardware store, but girl that's effort. And also it's not um, tinted. So you would have to tint it yourself. And I was like, girl, I just got my nails done. I ain't doing it. We gonna have to find another way. So this is a very, very, very affordable um, alternative. Each pack was around five or $6. I'm not, I think, yeah, five or six dollars, and you just mix it with water, and you are on your way. Okay, so I'm having everything set up. 
Now, this is where things got a little bit tricky for me because y'all know the spackle was pink to white. So when I put the milk paint on, because the milk paint powder is, I mean, it has to be mixed with water, it turned the spackle pink and I was nervous because I was like, girl, what is happening? Like if I, if I unmuted the actual footage, y'all would hear me cussing because <laughs> I was scared. I was like, why is it pink? It's it's giving me anxiety. I don't understand what's going on. I don't get it. I don't I don't understand. And I was like, okay, if it turns pink when wet, then obviously it will turn back to white when it's fully dry. So I just kept going, you know what I mean? I was like, forget about it, you know? At that point it was like twelve in the morning. My sleep schedule, what is her? Proper sleep? We don't know her. But yeah, I was just making sure that I was um taking my brushes and then just going in like x motions kind of x formations and then um when i would like switch between shades i would make sure to like merge the edges so that everything is not it's not like a stark difference there's like a transition between each shade so i was doing that over and over again and then i let it rock and i think i did like three or three or four coats i'm not sure but um y'all will just see me reapplying it as um the time lapse goes on and yeah don't worry about the shit the what's the thing called the spackle turning pink it's all right it's cool it's calm or whatever it will turn back to white because listen my heart was beating and i i don't like it when things don't turn out the way i want them to <laughs> so i was like barbara let's use some common, common sense let's re let's calm down you know let's 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 relax you know so yeah i'm just making sure that um i'm blending all the shades all over dragging the paint over the painter's tape to make sure that um like when i peel it there would still be like a definitive line from where the um the tape is on so that looks like more like a framed picture Okay, so this was my last coat. As you can see, like the color is still pulling through. Um, the pink isn't showing as much because I wanted to make sure that I kept like overlapping it just in case the pink was, I don't know. I thought that for some reason, I thought that the um, spackle was gonna like absorb the tint of the milk paint. But um, yeah, just making sure that we are blending and with no rhyme or reason, we are just adding it all over doing like quick X formations and then making sure that everything is blended with like dragging it over the painter's tape and just yeah you know I didn't want like structure I didn't want structure at all I wanted it to be like kind of like abstract or whatever because I ha we literally have not seen anyone do like a lime wash canvas art and like I really wanted to do lime wash on my walls in my room but my father would skull drag me so I was like we're gonna have to reach a happy medium so <laughs> i decided to do it on canvas on uh, canvas art instead
all right and then i let it dry overnight and then this is how she looked she looks so pretty i was tapping it to make sure that she was fully dry because i was nervous but then we removed all the painters tape making sure now it did leak a little bit because it's not like a what's the thing like a latex paint or like a acrylic paint or like a um what's the word oil-based paint is water so obviously it was going to leak through under the painter's tape but it's no problem no problem you know how we fixed that we fixed it with white acrylic paint so y'all see me um in like five four three two one um <laughs> tape um fixing up the edges of where the um the paint is supposed to end and where the frame is supposed to start so that she looks seamless on the walls okay so yeah so I'm just applying it all um, over the spots that stained or leaked through to the canvas. Cause you know, canvas is like a fabric. It's like a fabric. So we're just making sure that everything is prim and proper. Okay. So that it doesn't look wonky on the wall. But tell me that doesn't look sickening. That looks so beautiful. Y'all see the texture? Like I'm really here for it. I'm really proud of myself. I'm so happy I thought of this idea. Now, if I didn't think, I mean, I didn't see anybody else do it, so I clearly claiming this idea as my own. But um, <laughs> I, I hung it up on the wall, making sure that I applied nails throughout. Now, when it's time to like revamp my wall, whenever I decide to do that, it's gonna be a task to fix up. But look at how she came out. <laughs> This is how she came out. I'm so happy with it. I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I hope you enjoyed it because listen, easy and affordable are the way to go. Ain't nobody trying to pay $400 for canvas. What is, or upwards to that. Nobody has time for that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye.